the hell? Oh my god, no! No! Get out of here! See? They're out to get me, I swear. Look at him playing all innocent like I didn't notice. Oh yeah, this is good. Why would I do that? Hey! I have not... I have not looted that, sir! Okay, Uthgird, I'm gonna need you to be real careful here. No! <sighs> you try and warn them. Oh, I apparently don't know anything about playing space games. Well, you're not gonna learn by quitting. Oh god. Oh boy. Uh. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to relaunch the game. It crashed on me, which, like I said in chat, maybe for the best, given how badly I mucked up that takeoff. Ah, oh god. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, wow. And I thought I had done some parking jobs in this game. You gain XP for cleaning things up. That's actually. No, uh, not before six. My wife is very insistent. Your target is down. Now head calmly towards an exit. Not perfect, but I'll take it. Done? Oh. What the hell? Oh, 
Wow. That was brutal. Whoa. Well, that oh boy. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. And that blew the surprise. Now the raiders know I'm here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, and I'm saved up here. Could you keep that down, please? You're making it hard to aim. Thank you. I apologize for your impending death, Jeb. Oh, wait, he's actually climbing. What the hell? Oh, so much. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> um. Very sorry. Oh, my God. That's uh, I'm in danger. You're not kidding. That's a zombie horde. Where are they going? They're hoarding this way. Yeah, uh, we're not doing this right now. What's wrong with... <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> You're down in the grass, huh? Nope. Totally not. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So, you got that job as a janitor after all. <laughs> I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. You fight like a dairy farmer. I am rubber. You are glue. Got I that. give up. You win. All right. We've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, so I must apologize in advance for the obscenity you're about to endure. Who's in charge of the pencil case? The ruler. Uh-oh. Well, it's aptly named. <laughs> what? Okay. I call B. God, thank you, Greeny. <laughs> I'll keep that as a healing reserve. I just chose the one set with the. Uh... Oh, God damn it, Greeny. <laughs> oh, my God. I just emptied my frickin' inventory. How am I already overburdened again? Okay. Good job, Lockover. 
I'm going to show you what I've done with Starlight Drive-In. You're out of uniform, sir. Well, that escalated quickly. Ow! How did you not see me? You leave her alone. This quite wow. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so ter- And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. <laughs> well, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Hide her? Hide her? You didn't hide her? She's a solid gold statue on an island full of pirates. What were you thinking? Go, Guybrush, hurry before you're too late. There we go. Oop. I love that the jeeps are self-correcting when they flip over. It just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character Library with the potential of lore, for a few more a sequels, new viewer I wouldn't even consider it. Channel. Eld, please prepare Skull. a comfy seat for our guest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. In fact, I, uh... In fact, I feel, uh... <laughs> Why the hell did I... Excuse me. Oh my god. What are you... Ah. Oh! Well, that sucks. I don't want to tell you your business, but there's a bed right there. It's right there. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're kidding me. The Trian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? so their marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. Scam, you need to tell James that one. Oh hey, my what god. Is the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen that before. That's amazing. Good evening, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. How's everybody doing tonight? It's good to see so many folks here. Vera Johnson, Callan Ray, California, what's going on? I hope you're all having a fantastic evening. I hope you all had a great weekend. We're going to return to No Man's Sky this evening and see if we can't finish off 
that expedition that we were working on. So let me get into the game here. I don't have it loaded up yet. That'll just take a moment. I like telling dad jokes. Sometimes he laughs. Wow. Uh, hopefully it will be. You get some good rewards for finishing the expedition. Plus, this is the probably my favorite expedition that I've undertaken so far. I really like the focus on just building up and messing around in the one solar system and all that. I'm not so sure how much I enjoy this particular planet that we're on, but, uh, you know, it's not too bad so far, all things considered. Okay. Uh, community expedition, that would be the one. No, I finished that one, Callan Ray. I know a lot of people hated that one. I actually found it pretty easy. I had really no trouble with the Sentinels at all. I'm pretty good at playing dodgeball with them you know, or uh, hide and seek, whatever the case happens to be under the circumstances. I think it was all pretty much exclusively hide and seek. I never really had any major run-ins with them. They got annoyed a few times but that's where the running and hiding came in. I didn't actually get to fight them. Okay, so right now, we are on the very first planet of the expedition, the Paradise World. And I think what we're gonna do, in the interest of making the, um, the current planet number four, the one with all the dead stuff and the worms and whatnot, a little bit easier to handle is we're going to pretty much focus on this planet and make it so that I can set up a teleportation network between all the planets we have bases on. And uh, then I will just teleport between them for resources. Now, let me see. Zentopia, Zenful Sloth Settlement. I don't know who these people are trying to see where my other settlement is. That's my off-planet base. That's my off-planet save beacon. So that actually, I guess that's gotta be the, uh, the, the planet of horrors. Oh, that's, no, that's off-planet too. What the heck? Where's my other on-planet base? I'm sure I had to. Phase four planet kicked your butt. <clears throat> what do you call a sad cup of coffee? Depresso, wow. <laughs> so I think what we'll end up doing is maybe I'll keep this building, even though it's kind of useless. I might set up another one. What do we need if I want to build a more high-tech establishment? Maybe a cylindrical room. Looks like I can do that. So I'll do that over here. We're going to need a door. Gonna need some power. Probably redo this another time, but uh, for now, this will probably do okay. So let's just stick that there. that there. There we are. <laughs> the best part of waking up is bourbon in your cup. No, bourbon's Okay, I guess. You 
can do better, though. All right, now, one thing we do not have here, if I remember correctly, is we do not have a teleporter. So we're going to need that. And that means I need more metal plating, which is actually a little... Oh, oh no, no, I've got that. No, okay, yeah. I need to find rocks to mine up. Okay, so I need like a hundred more or fifty more or something. Don't need you stinking up my valley. Fun tip for those who have to do Zoom calls for working from home. If you occasionally blow on your coffee mug to cool it down, they won't know it's full of bourbon. Wow. Hey, Sketchy, it's going all right. How are you doing? Stick that right there. Okay, so that's now officially part of the teleporter network. And we can come back here real easy anytime we need to. Now, actually, before I do that, how do we build these geo bay thingies? I want the rover elsewhere, so I need five metal plating. I've got the ion batteries, and I need paraffinium. Let's see if this planet has paraffinium. Perfect. Because I need one of those on one of the other planets or actually pretty much all of the other planets, but I know for sure there's one planet where I don't have it. Ah. Oh. How's that? Excellent. Thank you for letting me know. Now, where was that paraffinium deposit? Oh, what? That can't be right. How did I already go past it?
Wow. It really eats through this thing. Ninety should do for a little while. <clears throat> On the fourth phase to get to my destination, I had to jetpack up a mountain so high I burned through my life support system four times? That's why I'm trying to build a nomad thing on that fourth planet, because I burned through quite a bit of my life support as well, and I'm kind of sick of it. The other thing we need to do... Where did I build my base computer? I think it was down the hill from the house. There it is. Thank you, Sketchy. Now, what else do we need? Uh, we need the Nomad Geo Bay, so I need five metal plating. Maybe I want to get back in here and go up there, because there seem to be a lot more rocks available outside this valley than there are inside it. That's pure ferrite, that's not going to help, actually. Okay, how much have I got now? Lots. I think we're good. So, I need five plates. Oh, shh. Right. That whole thing. Forgot about that.
Okay, paraffinium, ion batteries, metal plating. We are in business, so we can now build it on that fourth planet. Um, okay, this is the cave one, so we need to go here, and then we're going to rename that as well. Now, I believe I moved the location of the teleporter. Yes, I did. Okay, so no more ship inside the cave. That's much nicer. <laughs> are restless again. Oh, this could be awkward. Okay. Never mind. solved. Okay, now, next question, folks. You're supposed to find this last ingredient that we need, the thing from the flying worms in burrows. How the hell do you find burrows? I mean, it says use the scanner, but I have no idea what they're supposed to look like. They tend to be up high, do they tend to be down low? If anyone has any hints, that would be greatly appreciated. And they really need to unlock the camera view when you're using this thing. I can't look up any higher, so I have no idea what I'm driving into. Investigating what? I didn't do anything. Rude. Whispering egg. Hazardous flora. Oh, never mind. Got it. Oh, and we have ads in progress, and they're just about to finish. Thank you, Kellenry. And welcome back, everybody who just had to deal with ads. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, hello. This is literally hell. This is the worst. 
biological horrors, sentinels, worms, and all the freaking inconvenience of being on a hillside, too, with the nomad. Do I have to kill the worms? have to kill the Oh, cra oh my god. Oh boy. Oh. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Oh god. Okay. Uh we're going back for the freaking nomad. Because life is unfair and it hates us and needs us to suffer. That's why it had to be on a hillside. Oh, I forgot I have a mining beam on the Nomad. Suddenly this isn't so bad. Okay, maybe it is. That's what happened to me right off that huge mountain you mentioned before. <laughs> I wonder if it would be worthwhile just searching for one that happens to not be on a mountainside. The worst that can happen is they roll a nut 20 and Matt Mercer's voice comes on saying, how do you want to do this? And your screen goes black. Wow. I mean, honestly, that sounds kind of badass. Now, those things that keep popping out and disappearing down the hill, do I need to go collect those? Let's go 
down this way and find out. Flesh rope, I've got six. I'll do my best, California. Okay, this one's kind of bad. Why did the bankrupt dad move to France? He had nothing to lose. And because nothing makes a joke funnier than explaining it, Toulouse is the name of a city in France. Calm down, I've got lasers for everybody. Parasites. He eliminated eight hungering tendrils. Let's make it ten. idea where those things are rolling off to. I can't catch them. Oh god. Ooh. Okay. Let's fell down into the cave. What the heck? No problem, Kellen Ray. And Star Up. Hello, hey sub button. 55 months. Holy cow. <laughs> it's going to take me a while to get used to having uh, the narration there. What the heck? 55 months in a row? Thank you so much, Unstar. It's good to see you. How are you tonight? I hope you guys don't mind the switch to Morgan. I find his voice a lot easier to hear. The narrator voice is cool, but I always kind of struggled a little bit to make out what he was actually saying. The manless sky, no man has definitely been here before. And the sky is pretty fantastic. I succeeded in getting a nomad station built on Hell Planet here. And so I am working on collecting the 
crap that we need. Oh my god, do they just keep spawning? It's not like a fixed number, is it? What happens if I take this thing out? Or do I just leave that there so I can farm them or something? Let's make sure I've got my expedition thingy. Cook syrupy viscera. Deploy a nutrient processor from the build menu. Extract cactus nectar from cactus flesh. Refined processed sugar from cactus nectar. Prepare a gelatinous membrane from the flesh ropes of hungering tendrils. Compose a nightmare sausage by packing the gelatinous membrane with larval cores. Finally, prepare syrupy viscera by sweetening the dish by glazing the nightmare sausage with processed sugar. Truly an ingredient of terror. Okay. I'm going to declare this to be complete. Got to do. Wait, where's my. Oh, my cave is hidden too well. I almost didn't notice it myself. Okay, now, we have some stuff here that would be useful back at the other base. Let's take that, and that, and that, and do I have any more space? I do, I think. Actually, scratch that, I don't think that I do. That's okay, we can make multiple trips. We're gonna probably have to come back anyway. Uh, Library Paradise. see we've got uh, oh actually no we want to build nutrient processor can go there this nectar. I like that this works without any kind of fuel. I wonder if I got enough cactus flesh. that's working, we might as well take another trip back to the horror place, and I'll pick up the other base components that we left behind.
Have to get some studying done? No problem, California. Enjoy your studying. Okay, so I think that's good for now. How's this doing? 60% done. So we've only got the one light or a uh, solar panel. I need 50 chromatic metal and some gold. Let's get our nomad back again. Sodium there. We're gonna need some copper. Lots of sodium. Now, I don't know that we're gonna find anything at that particular node, because I'm pretty sure that's the one I found early on and went there. But I'm sure if we can't find anything there, we can at least make our way to something that does have some. There is copper here. I guess, when... Has there always been... a system where deposits can be of maybe different qualities or something? Because this is not a very amazing copper source, but it exists. It's not fake like I thought it was. give me. I suspect it's, yeah, not a whole lot. But it's better than none at all. Paraffinium copper.
I think that one's looking pretty good. So while we got that, um, oh, I was working on nanite clusters. A hey, candlejack? No, absolutely not. I've just got a lot of other stuff I want to work on too. We will be back to Star Citizen, don't you worry. How are you doing? It's really good to see you. Copper, that's more like it. Okay. Heckin' year. Thank you so much, Candlejack. I I don't know why that didn't work. We just had a sub alert pop up. So they must work on some level. Hopefully that will appear for you, because I would love to be able to celebrate that with you. But thank you so freaking much for an entire year of support, man. That really means the world to me. I hope you're doing well. That's the whole No Man's Sky experience right there. Where do I live again? Where did I leave the ship? Where am I? Whose planet is this? Exactly. Exactly. The new update, though, even though I don't have VR, and so I'm not getting the majority of the changes that they made for this update, the stuff they did make for PC is still really, really good. Totally worthwhile. I'm having a blast with it. Nutrient processor, done. Oh, wait, no. Uh, let's put that in the starship, I guess, for now. Processed sugar. One to one. survive that close to my base. I'm on a mission to purge this entire valley of those things. Oh, ads are starting soon, guys. I will be back in just a moment. just for fun you know a little jolt of the force to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off i would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge the mere thought of it's preposterous oh come on there's got to be times when you've thought about it don't be so stuck up you can tell me i am not stuck up 
I merely have these years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... <laughs> well, that answers your question. Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. <laughs> Please, do try to be less... What the... What? What is going on? What? The Michael Bolton Doug Trio here that we just evolved. Oh. <laughs> so, I guess those are the quote unquote dead Ewoks. Not a bad ragdoll, that one. Not bad. Frost salt. Wow, that was easy. Oh, and okay, this is kind of encouraging. How's everything looking on your end? I'm playing on ultra max, everything set to the highest level it can possibly go to. It looks real good on my end. I do have, um, I do have the. Okay, I'm back. Thank you so much, Candlejack. I'm glad the alert played finally. Hey, Vograx, what's going on? Yep, they just had a new update recently. Let me get you a shout out there. Actually, let me get uh, a few shout outs. Oh, uh, hang on a second here. Thank you, Kellenry. We have several really awesome streamers in here. Forget how bright the stuff in this game can be. Yeah, it really can be. Candlejack is an awesome streamer. And Vograx as well. Yeah, it's got a lot of really awesome new stuff, Vograx. It's got a lot of really good stuff. There we go. So what have you been up to lately? I hope all is going well with you. I guess maybe it continued on while I was doing the thing. The break. Gelatinous membrane. Yum. Oh, this one's pretty quick. I guess because I don't have a full stack of 100. Okay, what else do we need to do? Gelatinous membrane. Larval core. Yes, nightmare sausage. Syrupy viscera. Yum.
an acquired taste, cooked a vile dish. Started school, I guess, in Hogwarts and enjoying the heck out of it, waiting for the Nightingale survival. What is Nightingale? I would love to hear more about Nightingale. How's it going, Mr. Soggy Ramen? Okay, so that's that done. Detoxified slam pl slime plans, terrifying sample, horrific flesh helmet. Okay. New building part learned. Detoxified slime. Gelatinous and slowly pulsing, this puddle of living slime smells sweeter than would be imagined. Though there is no evidence to suggest it would be unsafe to do so, avoid treading on the slime where possible. Okay. Uh, the clan's purge site of biological horrors. Looks like I've finished that one too. Or not. Maybe not. Oh, but I did do parasites. Hex core times 16. Okay, let's make sure I've got inventory space. Um, wow, I have a lot of ion batteries. Glo oh, Jesus, look at that. Maybe I need to build a trade terminal. Can I do that? I don't know if I have that recipe. Maybe I should see if I can get that recipe. Three microprocessors and magnetized ferrite. So where do I get the microprocessors? So apparently there's nowhere to buy a certain game in my town, so I did the unthinkable you got it digitally? You mean the perfectly normal and regular way of getting them. I think we're going to have to go to the fire planet. Where is the fire planet? That's... Was that the fire planet? Let's see if that's the fire planet. That means you have less crap to store physically and take up valuable space. This is the fire planet, yay. Okay, now this means we're going to have to build a thing here as well. Ah, right. I need metal plating. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I came here partly because I wanted to go back to the, uh, the big trade hub. I forgot that we have this here and that there's actually a working terminal. Caramelized Nightmare. Product 
Okay. So I was wrong. I don't at this point need a thing. Although we are kind of stuck here until local daytime because my teleporter's not powered. What would it take to build an extra battery here? Magnetized ferrite. I think I can do that. Actually, can I just mine it here? Got copper. Basalt. I don't remember basalt deposits before. When did they introduce those? What are they used for? I don't think we're going to find magnetized ferrite just lying around, unfortunately. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> ah, fun. I didn't think that was going to be quite so close. Oh, hey. We're good. It's suddenly daytime. I'm still going to build the battery. Constructor placed a hundred base parts. They introduced them with next on volcanic worlds, but they were more common in more minerals two patches ago. Don't remember what it's used for. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so let's go back to Paradise. So far the main use for Basalt is crafting the new multi-tool upgrade Voltaic Amplifier, which stuns. Okay. So it's good that I've now got that renamed for ease of reference and that I have a teleporter and persistent battery storage set up. next. We probably have to go back to Horror Land. Purge a site of biological horrors. And then we have to collect that too. 
Supreme Mining Beam Upgrade Forbidden Multi-Tool Module. It was not next, it was Origins. That's fair. Sentinel Weapons Shard? Ooh, that sounds new. Mining Beam. Oh, that would be this. Paralysis Mortar. Incomparable Beam Capacitor. So it improves mining speed, fuel efficiency, heat dispersion, and overheat downtime. Not bad. Now, I don't know that I necessarily want to keep all of these. Like the pulse bitter things. I never use the pulse bitter. Never, ever, ever. I'm probably going to end up ditching that. Now, what was this? Sentinel Weapon Shard. An anomalous upgrade for the multi-tools weapon systems. This eerie glassy shard has been extracted from Sentinel debris. Its exact effect upon the multi-tool will not be known until after installation is complete. Let's roll the dice. A seeping nanite foam floods the module, targeting fire rate, damage, and reload time. So fire rate goes up, damage goes up, reload time goes down, but that's a pretty garbage modification. Cursed Gravitizer. I mean, the fire rate, honestly, is not too bad, but man, those are pretty tiny bonuses. Still, it's not a bad time to have that if I have to purge a site of biological horror. Now, the question I have, what does it mean by purge a site of biological horror? Utopia require a local facility to be purged of biological monstrosities. Return to your ship to receive site coordinates. Maybe we should go back to Fireland, since I happen to live at such a site. Or maybe I'll just do it here on Paradise World so I don't even have to worry about inhospitable weather. Utopia Project progress has exceeded expectations. Excellent work, Settler. However, local parasites continue to cause manufacturing inefficiencies. Please proceed to your assigned site and purge harmful life forms. Purge site designated. Okay, let's go up into the atmosphere a little bit. Or possibly a little beyond it. That's a lot further away than I expected, based on the numbers. an approximate location. Forget it. I'm not wandering around scanning looking for it. I'm just going to look around visually. Oh, hang on. Is that? Nope, that's not. Okay.
wipe out all the eggs and the swarm? Holy crap. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess it's not the usual process of go kill one egg, wait for the swarm to subside, kill another egg. I can just murder all the eggs and then murder the swarm until they subside. So, that should be easy enough. Confirm that they can still attack. Those eggs are hanging around for quite a while. I don't remember them being that slow to disappear. That's right, you go away. Now, did I get all the eggs is the question. Because I don't seem to be getting the achievement. Unless I just have to actually claim it. Because I don't see any remaining. Mm. 
Proceed to the site, provoke the monstrous brood by disturbing their eggs, locate whispering eggs using the analysis visor. Okay, maybe I missed something. Signal echo, what? Oh, look at the computer, okay. Why do, the instructions need to tell you this thing. It's so annoying when they give you a mission, but they don't actually tell you the requirements. They give you part of it so you can think that you're done. But, oh, no, sorry, we forgot to mention you've also got to do this other thing. I'm so glad you can murder those this time around. Utopia protocol initialized. Assessing facility safety. Biohazard levels acceptable. Restore facility power. Power restoration failed. Site reassigned to Utopia Electrics Division. Thank you, Settler. This cleansing assignment is complete. Completed restoration facility schedule. Power routed. All quality assurance checks. Cleansed. Facility rebuilt to 97%. Submitted space station. The log is barely audible. I have the uneasy sense I have accessed something off limits. Though the recording is paused here, there seems to be just a little more on the track. Utopia. We dug too deep. I am not, nor the last. The space station, evidence for, remember me. The degrading recorded hisses, then fizzes, then there is only silence. My suit registers a very faint echo from elsewhere in the system beyond any terrestrial surface. The space station? Investigate the abandoned station, because we haven't already done that. Ads are in progress, guys. I'll be right back. Cecil has become a paladin. Thank you so much for playing, but you've doomed the whole human race. Yep. Yep. These games, they, they will mock you viciously for failure. This one here, this is not a shuttle. I mean, it, it's comparable. It's considered to be a sort of shuttle, but this is a Federation runabout, if I'm not mistaken. I love that you can get so up close to it. Look at that. That looks so nice. Ugh. They've done some good stuff with this just since the time I've been away. Hey! I have not... I have not looted that, sir. 
it break time again? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Triple kill! Well, I'm not cold anymore. I stand corrected. Gotcha. Now watch a courier show up again. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I am back. Uh, investigate the abandoned station. Okay, so I guess we're going back then. signal echo. So what's everyone got coming up this week? Any big plans? Right, here we come. Here's the station. signal echo that kind of makes it look like I'm going to need an atlas pass. Let's hope that's not accurate. Oh, no. Okay, no, I don't think that's true. I think we're fine. Construction history. Discovered records of Utopia's history. This flu, to be honest, sleep. I have slept eight hours over the past week. Oh god, Calendar, yeah. Fair then. Forbidden Exosuit Module, Vile Spawn times 3, Supreme Launch Thrusters Upgrade. I like the sound of that one. Oh right, I need to use these supercharged slots too. Let's do... Uh, what do I want to do? Probably put the engine on that.
Sentinel exosuit fragment. Okay, what's this? The sentinel modification for the exosuit glows with a sinister purple light, its circuits shifting each time they are observed. A seeping nanite foam floods the module, targeting shield strength and sprint distance. Shield strength and sprint distance. Okay. I guess that works. Oh. Okay, and that works there. Launch thrusters. Launch cost minus 20%, boost plus 9%. Phase 4 complete. Robo Warden Companion Egg. Great. I don't even own the raft, so no, I've never streamed it sketchy. It's a game that I wouldn't mind checking out some point at some point though. It looks like it might be kind of fun. Phase five. Outpost Epsilon arrive at the final restoration target. Claim the final planet for Utopia. over here. I think it's unlikely you're remembering Sea of Thieves unless maybe you're thinking of some of my clips sketchy because I haven't played Sea of Thieves on stream in quite a few years. But some of the clips are pretty memorable, so maybe that actually is it. Okay, here we are. Login successful. Well, this planet doesn't look too horrible so far. Memory's kind of hazy, no worries. I said the thing, what's the thing?
Oh, got it, Kellen, right? I said so far. I don't think that's too unreasonable. Construction history. This report documents the history of a planetary facility forming part of the Utopia project. Several sections are curiously absent. Facility founded, plasma deep, deep drill rig operational. Return steady growth at 1%, overseers querying growth rate, orbital expansion approved, station trade booming, hazard encountered, redacted, Utopia project launched, facility restored, plasma deep drill rig operational, trade routes reopened, redacted, facility restored. Plasma deep drill rig operational trade routes reopened, redacted. The last two entries are repeated over and over across hundreds of pages. Okay, actually, is there a terminal here? Maybe I can sell stuff. There is. Just not my head this time, wow. Okay, settlement coordinates Epsilon. Ah, oh, thank you, Sketchy. Take care of those other requests just as soon as we get down in this area here, Sketchy. Thank you for the next stretch and the posture check. I think posture check is good. Okay, actually, let's go up a little. has to be it. This is not it? You're kidding me. Unwavering Sentinels. Okay, next stretch.
Thank you. I can't believe that was not the location. That's really weird. Go up to the top there. Good chance I'll be able to see it. Stegos? Yep. There we go. Reach your assigned construction area. Excellent. Now, what do we need for this? A carbon nanotube and an antimatter housing. Fix that. 500 pure ferrite. It's kind of obnoxious that it's so expensive. Callan Ray, have a fantastic night. I hope you're able to get better sleep tonight. Or, you know, any sleep tonight would be good too. But better sleep, longer sleep, a lot more sleep. some extra ferrite dust. Ah, right. Fuel helps. Hey, Jarek, how's it going? It's good to see you. 
How are you doing today? to build the base computer. I, oh god, I still don't have enough. Wow. All right. <laughs> stick. I love that it's just called stick. Very cool, Jared. Mushroom. We're rich, Mushroom. <laughs> These names, oh my god. things. Runaway mold deposit. That's pretty cool. Runaway mold. You can run through a refiner and turn it into nanite clusters. Very nifty stuff. Hate the fake rocks. Very rude. Never played The Last of Us. They're gaming through that together before they get to the show. That's really cool. Oh. I haven't seen the new episode. Oh my god, you're a big one. What the hell are you? Digs for tubers. The boys of Ragnarok. Wow. certainly is. I've never seen anything quite like him before. But yeah, The Last of Us show, I haven't seen the new episode, but it's... 
this the series so far is just spectacular. It's so good. Need breakfast? Think you'll go with some tea? Actually, sounds good. Sounds very good. Careful hunter steals from others. Oh, so they are actually potentially dangerous. W coming in with the raid. Welcome on in. <laughs> Interesting username. My uh, welcome on in, everybody. Uh, it's good to see you here. What the heck? What uh, brings you by this evening? What were you playing? Were you doing some No Man's Sky yourself? Are you uh, gathering some drops? We do have those enabled. Raid time. Yes. Welcome on in, everybody. It's good to have you here. Uh, let me get you a shout out here real quick. There we go. So if you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every once in a while, I will throw in the occasional real-world Lego build as well. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Well, come on, in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Actually, you know, let's hit pause on the raid video. I will do it, but we have ads starting very shortly. So I'm just going to run some regular clips. And I don't want the, you know, you guys have just come in. I don't want you to miss it because of the uh, the ads. So I do apologize that we have ads coming up. But uh, it's too late to snooze them. So I'll run the raid video as soon as we get back from that. So I'll be maybe two or three minutes at most. Whoops. You have traveled a long way only to die care by carelessly stepping to your death. What a clod. What? Maybe we need to sacrifice a little bit of cheese. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god. Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. Run for your lives! <laughs> was more spectacular <laughs> You don't get a much closer view than this That's a pretty good tidbit to share right at this moment.
definitely like this increased venom power stuff. Oh, this is good. Oop. Yep. Okay, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> okay, now that we're back, I will actually do the raid video. So uh, thank you so much for coming in with the raid. I really appreciate it. I take it Sketchy had something to do with your arrival. Thank you, Pi. Thank you. And now we're going to do the proper raid video. So thank you for waiting. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 16-9. Four factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. So let's get back to No Man's Sky. I do have drops enabled, so I saw there was a question about that. And so we're going to um, we're going to be streaming for a while longer. Let's see what time is it. It's 12.48, almost 1 o'clock. I've got about three hours left, actually, so that's perfect. If any of you are looking for your, uh, you know, the, the last drop, which is always a ship, You'll be able to pick that up here, provided you're able to stick around long enough. So, let's get that one done. We're trying to complete the expedition, and we're on the final planet. So, and uh, what we're doing here now specifically is I need to build a base computer... So I need a little more pure ferrite. Looks like we're getting there, but uh, we're still not quite there yet. So do I have any more? Oh, actually that should do it. If I demagnetize the magnetized ferrite, that'll give me all I need and then some. Now, what did we get here? Toxic protection module. Okay. Uh, was there anything else nifty that we got? Robo warden egg. I don't really care about that. Oh, 
What's that, Sketchy? Oh, thank you, Sketchy, by the way. Base computer. There we go. I'll put that right here. should be able to do the stuff I was trying to do. We need a carbon nanotube, and we needed... What did we need? Antimatter housing. Uh, I would love to try it in VR at some point. I really would. I don't see that happening anytime soon, though. It's going to be expensive to make that work. Okay. I don't have the brain power to come up with my own joke tonight to preface this redemption. That's not a worry. Don't worry about it at all. Now, I should warn you folks, we have had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke, and there is a reason that they are called that. These are not good jokes. Just managing expectations. What is the shortest month? May. It only has three letters. There you go. Build a base on the final planet. Found a utopia base on planet Endil A8. Deploy a base computer to establish a base. Upload a base to share it with fellow utopians. Alright. So now I need more frickin' pure ferrite. I don't suppose I can pop down one of these bad boys. I need metal plating. Damn it. Okay. I need more rock. Technically correct. The best type of correctness. That is correct. May is the shortest month because it only has three letters, Sketchy. good-sized rocks on this planet seem to be pure ferrite instead of the dust. Oh, whoops. Yeah, another stupid fake rock. It's pretty dumb, which is what we pay for. Exactly. That's why I always have to warn you guys, especially when we have new people around. Like I said, I gotta manage expectations. Don't go thinking you're gonna get comedy genius here. Welcome back, Jarek.
Odd tea. What is the odd tea? You have my curiosity. Let's wander back over to where my ship is. Maybe I'll bring it along. What the heck? And Stara! Thank you so much for gifting us up to W. I really appreciate that. That's way too generous. too far over that way. Welcome on in, W. You are now officially a lore keeper. Uh, paraffinium. Okay. Uh, I don't currently need paraffinium, so I'm just going to leave that alone. You do. You get a brand new purple book. Oh, there's one of those Yoda huts. I haven't seen one of those in a while. I think they've added new swampy trees to these planets, too. That's pretty cool. That's just cheating. Rude. Holy crap. Cinnamon and tea can make almost anything work? Yes, it can. I have cinnamon tea myself, actually. It's one of my favorites for the winter season. Okay, now because that's on a proper landing spot, I should be able to take off for free. Nothing found. Now I gotta do something about my inventory again. Let's see. Oh, I have geodes. too used to Subnautica. I'm trying to use two keys to control the ship's direction, but uh, there's no surface quickly button like there is in Subnautica's submarines. So it tries to go to warp instead, and that's just not working. That'll buff out. That's okay. Oh, 
shoot. <laughs> okay, so that's a little more... Yeah, ferrite dust. I'm good there. Uh, okay, so I have one slot. We should probably be able to make... There we are. Perfect. Pop that in over there. More pure ferrite. Excellent. And I'm down to 15 ferrite dust. But this is the planet with all those massive rocks of pure ferrite, so let's go get some of those. Nothing to see here, officer. Okay, so how much do I have now? 163 ferrite dust, that's not bad. Oh, I made too many plates. I have a bit of magnetized ferrite and 266. I'm gonna need more pretty soon. I need 250 just for the room itself, let alone anything else I wanna build. But let's call that good for the moment. can't believe I didn't spot this on the way out, but there's also this one right here. Okay, so power next. Solar panel. Wow, I even have enough for a battery. I'm doing all right today. That might be enough all on its own to allow me to upload the base, so let's give that a shot. Nope, too small. Alright. 
then next we do a teleport module. So I need three more metal plates and two carbon nanotubes. There we go. That was all I needed. Now we can upload. Utopia Ship Station Blueprints. Station plans. Three million units? Not bad. Survey device plans. Oh, the... Okay. Ship station. Portable Starship Research Station. Got it. That's cool. And we can build that, so we're going to do that back on the Paradise Planet. The Utopia Overseers wish for their brave settlers to be strong and well-equipped. This officially licensed portable research station allows access to a generous range of technology upgrades easily purchased with the appropriate currency. Construct and visit your own Utopia Starship Station today. Survey device. Wait, you mean, wait, what? Did we not already have a survey device? A self-contained circuitry upgrade, ah, for the analysis visor, adding real-time terrain analysis to the scanning array. Oh, right, this thing. That's what lets you get the special mining and energy stuff and all that. All right. Let's build the thing. Utopia Ship Station. The Utopia Overseers hope you profit from this generous selection of blueprints. Your journey of improvement awaits. Okay, so, um, teleport receiver. Let's grab that. Oh, you can... Wait, they added a cargo scan deflector? When did they do that? That's pretty cool. It's worth re-getting the economy scanner just so that I can get this. Conflict scanner, I don't really care that much. Hyperdrive... 
Cadmium drive. Emerald drive. Indium drive. Efficient thrusters. Launch auto charger. That's the one I really want. Okay, now before I do too much else. Uh, X. Oh, that's another milestone done, too. Now, uh, what else can we do? Oh, I knew I unlocked this at some point. So I need a little more magnetized ferrite, and then I can build a galactic trade terminal, and that's a very small amount of magnetized ferrite I need. So let's see. I Oh, shoot. I only have the one pure ferrite. But I think I have enough ferrite dust to make that happen. It's not bad. So I'm just going to buy all the microprocessors. That's quite a bit of navigation data you can buy, too. Residual goop. You can buy pugnium here? Not bad. Okay, anyway. I should probably clean out my storage on my ship. Oh, ads in progress, folks. I'll be right back. What are these clowns thinking they're doing? Oh my god, did I actually get one? Just go around doing stuff and oops. Oh, that was good. I Excuse me? What? <laughs> Gods, and when they pulled it out, there you were. What is going on in the background there? What was that explosion? Looks like the water might be too shallow for the water wheel. Uh-oh, are they hungry? Maybe this is more like vanished than I thought. Oh god, they're out of food. Okay, this is definitely reminding me a little. I'm just trying to incite violence between the trigger men and the Oh shoot! Not me. Uh-oh. Uh yeah, okay. That no, that <laughs> That didn't work. That's one down. Oh, 
Oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> uh, thank you, Uthgard. That was perfect. Okay, I am back. So, I think that's our collection of stations maybe complete, looks like. What else do we have to do? Let's take a look. Oh, I did that one too. Acquire a starship upgrade. Warp hyper core plan. Supreme pulse engine upgrade. Supreme hyper hyper the hyper drive upgrade. Warp hyper core. High capacity antimatter based fuel. This cell harnesses an internal black hole generator to power starship hyper drives across multiple warp jumps. Cell walls are specially designed to reflect any reality paradoxes back toward the heart of the unit where they generate additional power. St oh, rack. I'm going to have to build this, aren't I? Because that requires storm crystals. Where did... Oh, there's my ship. Okay. Okay, so that on its own, 247 light year hyperdrive range, plus 100% warp cell efficiency. Where is my... Wait, I don't have a hyperdrive? I didn't even notice they don't give you one. Okay, we don't need this. Let's get rid of that. We're putting that there. the 10 levels of confusion what happened or you know what if you're ignoring it don't bother it's fine I'll take your word for it uh, pulse engine upgrade almost total rework of the pulse engine this upgrade module brings unparalleled movements to pulse drive fuel efficiency boost and maneuverability Okay, so that gives pulse drive fuel efficiency plus 20%, maneuverability 6%, boost 20%. Nifty. That's an awful lot of starship stuff it just gave me, though. I'm kind of suspicious about the motivations here. So what's next? Eyes in the mist. Discover animal life on the planet Endil A8. Okay, so we have to go back. Curious that it gives us that particular mission after so many starship upgrades. Where's Yoda land? Document creatures on the planet Endil A8, 5 of 6. So we just need one more creature. Are there any sky creatures around?
you came back and for whatever reason I thought you were playing Subnautica, just glancing over, but then I recalled you were doing No Man's Sky, so I thought it was a clip, then I realized you don't start your clips with I'm back. Well, I mean, just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it never could. Uh, so I was confused again, and my brain settled on, okay, there was just a sudden change to Subnautica, then you stepped outside and I went, okay, this is No Man's Sky. <laughs> well, that's reasonable. I mean, in fairness, No Man's Sky and Subnautica have been compared many, many times. It's not necessarily the most intuitive comparison, but the building in each game is quite similar. Oh, hello. Oh, we got you. What I really could use, I think, more than anything else, is a bit of water. It would be very easy to discover an aquatic species that I haven't scanned before. There's a lot to process in 30 seconds. There. Very fair. Ow. nifty now. I like the new particle effects. I convulse as I reach out and touch the beautiful stone marker, my mind filling with a deadly knowledge of the true history of the Gek. We are the masters of galaxies, the overlords of the cosmos. Each foe will submit with bended knee to the almighty Gek dominion. We are the first spawn. Look upon our works in despair. You have learned the Gek work for help. Word for help. And apparently back then they really needed it. I'm really not finding a whole lot in the way of animal life. Maybe I'll just go back to home base and see if I can work on a little bit of stuff around there. Like if you hang 
hanging out in an area a bit longer, things tend to spawn more. Oh, the Yoda hut. Hey, Mad. It's a pretty good night so far. How are you doing? Good to see you. How was your weekend? We are closing in on the end of the expedition. So I'm excited about that. Sensationalist Gord McLeod, advanced ranks in the words collected milestone. How are you doing this evening? It's good to see you. Okay. Now we just wait for the magic to happen. There's an observatory over there? How did I not see that? Weird. Maybe I'll go visit that. Um, need it marked. Where was it? Holographic comms tower. There it is. Got fun tomorrow night? Oh boy, what's going on? Also, hang on a second here.
There we go. If there's anybody in chat not already following Greeny Trainee, please make sure you go correct this. Oh, pinpoint a gas hotspot? Oh, uh, the next frontier, so that's why it gave us all the ship stuff we have to eventually at the end warp out of the system. Nope, never gonna stop. You get all the shoutouts. Oh, it's one of these. I wonder if it still functions as an observatory. Because actually that's kind of cool that you can get these in different varieties now. And some stuff still actually works. The life form that works or worked in this installation left its equipment scanning the skies for interesting new systems and spatial phenomena. In its absence, it struck gold. A beacon has been received and a transmission sequence awaits response. I discover a location within the distant stars. Ruin off planet. Oh, uh, you just can't scan them? That's annoying. trying to shortcut my way out of it. You leave my bike alone. You are not gonna give me crap for killing those things. Seriously? Oh, yes, Greeny. Gotcha. goes all right. They get out of your hair fast. I 
need just one more animal species to scan. I wonder if there's anything up in that cave. Sometimes there are cave-specific species on planets, right? Fauna is supposed to be frequent, so you would think six would be an easy target to achieve. I guess that's one way to do it. Not the way I was imagining. Okay, that's not much of a cave, actually. Oh! I don't believe I have an aerial species yet. That will do. Got it. So, let's see what we got here. An appalling lack of space is what I've got. No more thinky times tonight? Sounds good. Four minute warning, by the way, folks. More ads and coming in four minutes. Processing. Let's head back to the Paradise World. If I need to keep this or not. I can't really do anything with it. Okay, that 
that gives me a bit of space anyway, so we can go and we can claim Eyes in the Mist. That gives us a supreme movement system upgrade, more inventory slots, which I could sorely use, and some Mordite, which I just... Uh, I guess I'll have to keep hold of that. Two hundred twelve percent jet pet tanks, recharge rate goes up, boost power goes up, sprint distance goes up quite a bit. That's not a bad one at all. All right. yet, but that'll give us more inventory space still. And that's turning into runaway mold, so we can run that through again one more time, and that'll give us a few nanites that we can claim. So what's next on the expedition? Seismology. Pinpoint a gas hotspot. Survey for a gas hotspot. So I guess I need to do the, uh, multi-tool upgrade thing. So that's going to have to be this, the survey device. And I need magnetic resonators and com quantum computers for that. Shoot, where am I going to get these? Oh, ads in progress, guys. I'll be back. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> oh boy. What the hell? For the founder! For the founder! So, uh, you ever use the forest just for fun? You know, a little jolt to the force to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off? I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Oh, come on. There's got to be times when you've thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... Blech. Well, that answers What's your that? question. Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. <laughs> Please, do try to be less clear. Oh, ah! Oh my god! Nothing but 
Okay, and I'm back. Hmm, okay. Um, complete the survey device. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the issue. Where am I gonna find the survey device? Go on a little bit of an expedition. Thank you, Pai. That might actually be my other base. Let's go there, because I would like to declaim it and declutter everything. Boop, boop. I forgot about that. still the derelict trader. Maybe we should check that out. I wonder if that might be of some assistance. Base computer is literally all I did. I did start a new game of RimWorld today, just a fresh vanilla save of the most recent version with none of the DLC content, because you don't have them. I... you know what? The royalty DLC is okay. It's all right. What the heck? I would not say that royalty is really super necessary. The newer one though, the newest one, is really, really good. I would strongly recommend the newest one. You're molding your vacation next week around Baldur's Gate 3? That sounds actually pretty amazing, Greeny. Really. I'm so excited for the full release of that one.
freighters look a little bit different now. Not hugely different, but a little bit different. I don't remember ever seeing semi-powered doors before. Quantum Accelerator, nice. New planetary record, highest radiation level. Great, that's that's exactly the kind of record I want to be breaking. That's ideal. Thanks for that. Gooby, how's it going? Saw you playing Kerbal 2 yesterday. Uh, it is very, very early access, Gooby. But that said, it's also very, very fun. And I can't wait for early access to progress more because it's only going to get better. Right now, it's still behind the capabilities of Kerbal Space Program, but, you know, to be expected. Um, but, yeah, immense amount of fun. The graphical upgrades are astonishing. They're so good, and it looks so good. And the writing and the voice acting is all really great. Big, big fan. I am a big fan. Salvage frigate module. This is not subterranean, computer. That's not what that word means. How are you doing, Gooby? I hope all is well with you. Oh, that's the one that's further out there. You have a friend who wants to do a couple hour Baldur's Gate 3 once it actually goes live, like the multiplayer aspect. Yeah. I would want to finish it solo first, but I think Baldur's Gate 3 could end up being one of those games where it could be really fun to actually go through it with friends, provided all the other multiplayer crap stuff is factored in, like the difficulty of actually scheduling everything and all that sort of stuff. But once you got through all that, it would probably be pretty awesome. Just haven't played RimWorld since prior to any of the DLC was announced, really. That's quite a while then. Glad you liked it. I played a bit and thought it felt like a fancy reskin. Oh, that's not the impression I get at all. I know they'll add more stuff, but I don't really want to see some gameplay improvements, new tech, etc. Well, uh, as far as their early access roadmap goes, the tech tree and the science system is the next thing they're going to be adding. In, well, the next major update they're going to be adding. They might do bug fixes and little stuff and all that before then. Did I? Wait. Getting all these frigate modules, it's great. Radiation protection I might still be a little bit too close. There we go. There it is.
remember taking all the crap out of there. What the heck? Weird. I think it gave me the contents without my having to actually open it. Would be fine with a Thursday session. Yeah. How long would it take to go through the whole game with a group, though? That's the thing, especially if you're only doing it once a week. I mean, that could be potentially a thing to do. I would worry about that, though. Hope I'm wrong, time will tell. Well, you do know about the plans for the game, right, Gooby? You know that uh, one of the big things that Kerbal 2 is going to be doing, or two of the big things that Kerbal is going to be doing that the first one didn't do, is you're going to be able to create colonies, and you're going to be able to leave the solar system and explore other solar systems. Now, those are features, of course. Oh, and multiplayer, uh, I suppose, for those who are into that kind of thing. Uh, but those are features, of course, that, uh, you know, they're going to come up later. They're in the early access period. They're not going to be soon, but they are going to come up, and that's going to be pretty wild. So, I don't think you have much to worry about. I think that's about it for this freighter. We finally got to explore it. Uh, all right, so what else did I? F oh no, nope, other way. Quantum accelerators. Come on, there we go. Nope. Actually, now we take a look around. Are there any facilities nearby? You did not know that yet. Yeah, there's there's a lot coming in the game that's going to be really, really cool. So, right now, you're not far off. As far as currently implemented stuff goes, it's a uh, fancy reskin. With more new than you might realize. Um, after I was done my stream, I raided another person who was playing Kerbal 2. And they were doing some really super fancy, impressive stuff with aircraft that was not possible in the first game because of some new wing types that are available. So, even just within the stuff that we've already got, there's a lot of new stuff you can do. Uh, to say nothing of, uh, I haven't played with this at all myself yet, but apparently boats are a thing. I noticed that while I was playing, I didn't actually play around with it, but you can make boats. There are docks that are part of the, uh, the, the station that you're at when you start out. Uh, 
Of the companions that you've met in Baldur's Gate 3, who are your top two? That's a tough question, because Gale is probably my favorite character as a character, but he's the one I like to keep around the least because of his requirements. I do like Shadowheart, and, um, the Githyanki is pretty cool, too. I can never remember her name. I like all of them to one degree or another. Uh, I can buy gold, that's convenient. I guess we could go back to lava land. I was playing around with building aircraft earlier. Really like the wings. I'm bad at it, but with some practice, sure I'll have a nice looking fleet. Yeah, take a look at the advanced properties on them. That's where all the fun stuff seems to lie. Barbecue, that's the one. No idea, Greenie. That's a decision I would probably make at the moment. Not the sort of thing I would really plan ahead on. Oh, you know what I don't have here? I don't have one of my things. I just need metal plates, though. I think I can buy those. You know, it took up more of my inventory spots than I thought, but that's okay. At least it'll be a while before I need more. sure it wasn't this one. It's got to have been the other one.
Okay, what the heck? Trade hubs are not enormous, but... How did I miss it? Oh, wait, I think that was... It was near there, wasn't it? Maybe I just came at it from the wrong angle at the wrong distance. I'm very confused. General area got a Rogers DDoS. They're on it now, but you were out for 10 minutes. Oh, that's not fun, Kellenry. I'm not on Rogers, thankfully, so that wouldn't have much of an impact on me. No, that's my base. I'm sorry that you were affected, though. That's not fun. Let's see if it was maybe out more this way. like it. You know, I'm not so sure they did redesign this, actually. I thought they did last time we came here, but that might have been wishful thinking. Any recommendations on quantum computer and magnetic... Oh, wait a minute. I'm ridiculous. There's a reason they gave us those terminals we can build in our own homes. I can probably unlock the recipes for those components, can't I? Let's give that a shot. I could, but that's such a small profit, I don't know that it's really worth it. I 
I'd rather just keep them and not have to make more for some time. The convenience value is far greater than the economic value in my book. been in network admin long enough to decide which issue means how long the net will be out generally. Oh, we have ads starting shortly. I am, now that we're back here, I'm going to start clips. And I'll probably take a few minutes to go grab some food as well. So I'll be back in three and a half to five. What? What? Oh, Excuse me. Well, I'm not cold anymore. I stand corrected. He looked at me funny. What can I okay. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> You're kidding me. They stuck around? Who? Oh my god, the entire frickin' swarm stuck around and camped. Literally camped inside the train. Oh god. Ugh. What? Who designed this vessel? Let's go for it. Oh. Find a single silver coin, carefully polish it, and place it in your pouch. What a way to make a... Oh! Wow! Okay, I was not expecting such a direct attack. Oh god, thank you, Greeny. <laughs> I'll keep that as a healing reserve. I just chose the one set with the uh Oh god damn it, Greeny. <laughs> oh my god, I just emptied my frickin' inventory. How am I already overburdened again? Sorry. <laughs> Hi. Oh crap! <laughs> oh, thought for a moment I was going right into. His wounds look deep. I might be able to help. Oh. 
Oh, that's so cool. You can give yourself advantage by using Charm Person. Oh, I love that. Oh, they did a really good job with this. Saved by guidance again. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything. No. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I am taking the win, even if I have to. The Empire could strike back at any time. Make sure you do a round of target practice before you leave. He said the thing. All right, I'm back. Okay. Uh, right. Thank you, Pilatius. What do we want? Exosuit, multi tool, ship. Build station is probably the most likely. Wait, livestock unit? Huh, okay. Thank you, Mad. Thank you, Pi. Uh, landing pad. I could do that. Posters, oscilloscope. Oh, it's an ornament. That's hilarious. Decorative modules, so this is all... Wow, there are so many cosmetics that seem like they should be useful. Mineral extract... Oh, I guess I'm going to need some stuff from this, aren't I? I think I'm going to need that. What's the thing we needed to do? Gas hotspot. I assume we're gonna have to do something with that. Extractor, gas extractor, supply depot. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't afford that one, but it's only one thing if I need it. Okay, so we'll just get that in preparation because I'm sure we're going to need it. Uh, Alright, if I can't get anything around here, then I suppose the next thing that I can look at as a possible solution is we build an actual warp drive. 
because I've got this hypersonic warp core that's an upgrade to the hyperdrive that I don't have. I need more chromatic metal. Of course I do. So we need some copper. So we're going to have to get back out and see if we can find some. anything in this system, maybe we can find it in a different system. That will also take care of the warp out of the system thing that we have to do. Perfect. That works. Okay, I think that's good, mostly. Oh, hang on, we've got these things all over my Nomad, too. Um... Fusion engine, you're going there, there, there. Are these not upgrades for the fusion engine? What the heck? They are, they're supposed to be. you'll be doing City Skylines again? I haven't thought about it, honestly. Probably not in the, like, distant future. I want to get back to it earlier than that, but there are a lot of games coming out this year, which means we're probably going to end up focusing on new releases a lot. Especially because I'm trying to finish more of the games that I actually start, so... I don't think we'll be doing cities before I finish Subnautica, uh, Below Zero, but maybe after that, because Kerbal just came out, but Kerbal's not the kind of game that you finish, and especially not in its current state of um, early access. It's not the kind of thing that I'm going to immediately spend a ton of time on. So we have a little bit of time before the next big release comes out, at least the next big release that I'm seriously interested in. But 
Cities is kind of... It's one of those reliable games that I come back to every once in a while. Uh, the next one that I can think of off the top of my head, Pilatius, is probably Tears of the Kingdom. I may be overlooking something, though. Uh, what were we gonna do? I was going to... <coughs> I was going to take all that copper that I just got and stuff that in there. I guess another thing I ought to consider... Uh, let's move this. Since I do have this base now that I'm coming back to and using on a regular basis, it might not be the worst idea to make a refiner if I can afford to unlock one. I can still use the... No, I can't. Never mind. Refiner. Medium refiner. Oh. I need salvage modules. There's gotta be some around. Of working hyperdrive. Okay, I won't worry about the cadmium upgrade just yet. Um, I would not mind economy scanner though. can see a couple different paths for Kerbal. Okay. What are you imagining? Alright. Um, I think we'll go looking for more salvage tech when we leave the system. I think it's time to warp out. Man, there's a lot of systems right nearby that require special drives to access. Ah, perfect. Wealthy Corvax. I think we'll go here. Next frontier, milestone complete.
chat picks a part with bits, tells you where to put it, chat points, they just add a part, but you decide where. Either way, you have the option to balance pair said thing. That's kind of a scary thought. <laughs> That's kind of a scary thought. That could be fun. actually need some up here. certainly be a lot less constrained. That's... that's six extra slots. But it is Class A. If I'm gonna go for a Class A, I don't need to buy one. I have drops and unlocks and all kinds of fancy schmancy stuff, so let's not do that. Yep, a balancing or supporting part, that's true. It's still a scary thought giving chat control over what goes into the ship or vehicle or whatever, but like I said, it could be fun. That, um, I, ooh, 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 perfect, okay. Okay, so we got those. Uh, how many? Where are we? There we go. We got five. Good. Now I don't suppose they have the other thing that I need. No. But still, that simplifies my life. This is not a terribly well-trafficked station, I gotta say. A little disappointing for a wealthy one. No, okay. That was a little much to hope for, I guess. nuclear fusion reactor to the nose because haha ha. I don't know the Kerbal has a nuclear fusion reactor but maybe when you're doing extra galactic trips that could be a thing we don't know what they're gonna add for the colony and you know inter interstellar travel stuff planet? I've never seen a rattling planet before. Glacial planet. Arctic moon. Okay, what the heck? Another trinary system? Acidic planet.
let's just go here. Glacial planet's fine. Actually, I think I like the moon better. We'll go to the moon. Oh, no, never mind. Aggressive sentinels. I'll pass. We'll go to this one. Planetary record, coldest temperature. Trading post detected, where would that be? Darkwing Dave, good to have you here, and also, thank you. I will do the next stretch as soon as we arrive at this trading post. Oh, that was fast. Uh, computer. Ow, damn it. What do you mean landing area not clear? It's a frickin' landing pad. Thank you, wow. Oh. Negative 101, and it's not even a storm. Oh, I, I guess the extreme, maybe it is. All right. Thank you. Oof. is the most interesting man in the world, or at least Canada. Thank you so much, California. I appreciate that. You are way too kind. Way, way too kind. Okay, I don't think it's hydraulic wiring. It looks similar to that, but it's not that. So, this is not helpful. Oh, I like that. Twenty-seven and seventeen, Explorer B class. Unfortunately, much like the um, the multi-tool, I don't need to buy a ship. Although I do really appreciate the appearance on that one. Oh, jeez. Uh, I will be back in just a couple of minutes, guys. We have ad starting very, very shortly, and so I'll be back in a minute or two. I really appreciate it, California. It adds up more than you would expect. I'll be back in just a few. Oh my god! It's 
Excuse me. What? <laughs> Shut up, everyone. That ought to keep the Imperials off our back for a little while longer. You have no leader. It seems I misjudged you. Can you forgive me? Hey. I just painted this thing. Of course, Red Leader. For you see, it doesn't matter about the color of our squadron. What's important is we're all the same on the... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for your medal acceptance speech, kid. Oh my god, the time. Oh, hey, our headless friend is back again. So it's not actually tied to the bridge then. Okay, I guess these guys are immortal. Oop. You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Smildaf. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't <laughs> let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Helping the chef is the greatest of causes. It's true. It's true. <laughs> well, that was, that was pretty close to a good plan. And forget, but I do know. Thank you. Of course, sir. I wasn't talking to you. Well, who else could you be talking to? Should I be concerned about your mental well being, Commander? It's amazing how little I care about the stalkers these days. What the hell was. Hey! for one okay I'm back oh collect rewards storage augmentation thank you Vikings so how's everyone doing tonight thank you winters that message. Thanks, computer. I'm confused. I thought I got storage augmentations. Where did those go? Oh. oh do I have something in there? I have a younger brother. Pretty good was just playing shotgun farmers with my friend. Such a dumb, fun little game, I can imagine. New Hampshire's Mount Washington registered 100, negative 108 degrees Fahrenheit with wind chill at the beginning of February. Damn. That, yeah, that, that, um... Uh, 
That's a lot colder than I've ever experienced personally. Good after my big confusing enjoying some popcorn and enjoying a really good stream, you are way too kind. Thank you. Fluffy Throat Ripper. Gooey Screamer. Oh, here they are. Starship Expansion Module. The technology module harvested from the remains of a salvaged starship may also be collected from freighter crash sites or salvaged during frigate expeditions. Can be used to expand starship storage capacity at the space station starship outfitter. Okay. So we're not going to... We're not going to use those. Because that's a lot of storage augmentation. I'm going to keep those for when I get a better ship. So I think we'll go to a different planet. Maybe we will visit the aggressive Sentinel's moon. Something like that. We'll go here first. We'll go to that planet. The rattling planet. Oh, there's not going to be anything there, actually. Never mind. We need something that's actually inhabited. in AI text to image. If you're doing it for fun and not distributing the contents, uh, then I think it's perfectly fine, Winters. Because doing that isn't, you know, that's not causing trouble for anybody. building? Is it a building at all? No, it's just a clearing. Ow. That'll buff out. That's fine. Oof. Ah. Trade post detected. Where? 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 There's an awful lot of buildings detected. What the heck? I'm not complaining, but I am plenty confused. Tritium Rich asked, why is all this stuff showing up? What the heck? Oh, there it is. Uh, that's actually pretty close. I was trying to use ChatGPT to create NPC characters for Pathfinder 2E, but it's not smart enough yet. That's a relief, honestly. I've been thinking about a conversation that was going on in the Discord about stream elements and stream labs and how apparently both of them are kind of terrible companies. I'm wondering if I can get ChatGPT or maybe the more dedicated programming specific one to code up a system that I could just use for my own alerts and not have to use any of them. Because I think that would be pretty cool. Oh, then it's plenty smart enough for Pathfinder 2. It's just, I would imagine it doesn't have enough information about Pathfinder 2 yet, because that one's a very new system. And uh, 
it does have that technical limitation where it's not supposed to know anything after 2021. I don't believe Pathfinder 2 really existed back then. Exosuit upgrade chart. Okay, so that leads you to drop pods. That's not bad. I guess another... Oh my god, I love that. What is that ship? Oh, it's only a Class C hauler. You could be right, Pilatius. Maybe there's just not enough of the rules written up on the internet for it to know too much about it yet, then. How close to finishing? Finishing what, Greeny? seem to have anything I'm interested in. You know, one thing I would love to see them do? It bothers me that no matter what ship a person in this game is flying, they always have this same little page of six items that they can trade. They might have the biggest hauler in the game with all of the slots. Or they might have the tiniest little fighter with barely any storage at all. Doesn't make a difference. They have nothing to offer. Oh, the expedition? Very, very close now. Provided I can get the stuff I need built. Um, all I have left to do is seismology and then whatever is available here in the final phase, which is collect all this stuff, I guess. So I need to survey for a gas hotspot, and that's about it. But in order to do that, uh, where is it? In order to do that, I have to finish building the survey device. So I've got the quantum computer. I just need a magnetic resonator, three of them. That doesn't mean that ChatGPT is uh, is privy to it. When did that site go operational? And when did that site get the bulk of its Pathfinder 2 information? Because if it didn't go up until 2022 or 2023, or even later in 2021, then the bot's not going to know anything about it. Okay, that's the same arctic moon. Let's go this way. There we are. What's this one? That's the rattling planet. What's that one? Acidic. No. The other thing I could do, I suppose, uh, since I do have a fair amount of warp fuel, I could travel 
to a few different solar systems here, a few different systems, until I meet the anomaly. And I'm pretty sure I would be able to get the recipe I'm looking for then. Back here. I am not done with you yet, sir. Yeah. Technology well, if the bot should know if the site exists but it doesn't, then there's a pretty good chance that it's after the threshold, after the cutoff. The speeder you get moves so well you're actually tempted to turn space battles back on. That's impressive. Uh, what was it I wanted? I wanted this and this. Oh, okay. That's dead ahead. Such luck. I did find out Pathfinder 2E's core rulebook released in 2019, with only the five most recent rulebooks probably being too new. Okay, well, I don't know, you got me then. Maybe it's not literally true that it knows everything that's on the internet. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back to the station. The other idea I have is maybe we just find one of those little stations on a planet that's got the, um, 
you know, some of them have a secondary vendor that's specifically for buying components. That might end up being my best bet for getting what I'm looking for. And I can't think of a better planet to do that on than a paradise planet where I actually live, so... I think that's gonna be what we try and do. It's probably better than going around to all the stations and all the systems and seeing if something randomly has it. Actually, you know what? What have you got? Oh, okay. I think I clicked something accidentally, but why not? Are you anti-Valheim because it's too trendy and everybody else is playing it? No, I'm not at all anti-Valheim. I'm just not playing it because my game schedule is so overloaded, I simply don't have time. I genuinely am curious, though, because I had a good Valheim save going where I had a really large, ambitious construction underway that I had to basically abandon because it was getting too big and too complex and my PC at the time was making the game get very, very stuttery while I was streaming and while I was anywhere in the area of that thing I was building. But I have upgraded the computer a fair bit since then and I'm genuinely curious to see if it would be capable of running it more effectively now than the other one did. Okay, let's cross over. Oh, now there's ships all over the place here. Neither did I, Pilicious. I thought Pathfinder 2 was really, really recent. But then again, it is still March 2020, so if 2019 is when Pathfinder 2 came out, then technically it only came out last year. Okay, Paradise Station. Let's take a look at some of these stations I've got in here. I don't think... What? They have to get some sleep. Have a great night, buddy. He'll see you soon. Thank you so much, California. I really appreciate it. That's way too kind and generous. Have a fantastic evening. I will catch you again soon. Um, okay, so I've already got those. Oh, but do I have them installed is the other question. Paraffinium, magnetized ferrite.
Tritium. I must have Tritium. My starship is right here. Uh... Okay, that's odd. That's not where it normally goes. So I need some more chromatic metal for the radar amplifier unit. But uh, we have this, which allows additional building types to be acquired by the Exocraft radar. So maybe that will help us in our search. Trade outpost, depot, drop pod, abandoned structure, ruin. Alien structure, that's what we want. I don't... No, not... Uh. No! Don't, <laughs> I, an off-planet alien monolith is not gonna help. Damn it. It's fine. Oh, maybe it was that one it was referring to. We'll go there. It's not going to help, but it gives me a new place that we can arrive at and base our search on. Fine. Love the ground hugging fog. This looks so nice. We need more of this.
Okay, I know we have ads in progress, so let me take a couple of minutes here, and I'll be right back. It's not likely to explode very satisfactorily. So I don't think we have any choice. Oh! Never mind. Humiliation will you use on me next? A comb? <laughs> uh, okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. How about a Rancor Burger? I'll take care of it as soon as I can, Mission. For now, let's stay focused on the task at hand. Okay, I am back. All right, now, what's in range here? Let's actually use the scanner. Okay, alien structure has got to mean monolith, I think. So I'll just use my regular scanner and see if I find something nearby. Knowledge stone. Thank you, Pi. The comic timing of karma. When I was driving my exocraft on this planet, I watched a creature walk right into a hole. I laughed, called it an idiot, then drove into a hole yourself. Oh no. I am very sorry. Gotta head to bed, working tomorrow, have a good night, good rest of stream, thank you so much. I will catch you again soon, Space. Have a fantastic night and a good day tomorrow.
Gek word for this. Found one? Thirteen minutes away. Might be worth it. lost where my monolith was. Oh, no, actually... Yes, I think I did. I'm pretty sure that's not the same one. That's okay. While I'm out and around, I might as well pick up some tech modules, because I need some of those too. Thank god, that's so quick. Um, salvage data. Maybe it's abandoned structure I want. Let's give that a try. Also, what was it I needed for this? I oh my god, you are I'm one short. Okay, I should be okay now. Options now include trade outpost, depot, drop pod, abandoned structure, ruins, 
alien structure. Why? Why can you not scan for anything useful? I mean, I guess technically they can all be useful at various times, but... Come on now. I want to scan for conventional buildings. I like one of the accessibility features where they've made an option to restore auto-scanning so you don't have to hold the button down. Actually, I turned that one on too. As well as the option to just eliminate as many of the hold the button down things as possible. Because I've always hated that. I wish you could get rid of all of it, but it still does a few of them. Yep, yep, I know, Winters. I've got that one enabled myself. They really liked it from Destiny 1 and kind of lifted it from there. Really wish they hadn't done that. It's my least favorite interface innovation ever. Or one of them anyway. The worst I can think of at least off the top of my head. I'd be very happy if they would just do away with that entirely. Where's the thing? The thing is over here. trade terminal in here, so it might not be the worst place to go. Now that these things are different and have some of the surviving functionality of their previous form... Ow. Returning user identified. Terminal now active. Unlocking data log continuation for analysis.
Hmm. Photon cannon module, not bad. Another microprocessor. It's what got me to install my first mod for No Man's Sky. Holding a button down is particularly tedious when you have a large crop farm. Yep, I can believe it. Okay, that was not nearly as helpful as I was hoping it might be. I think your ship can do... No, never mind. Your ships can scan for more things than the than the uh, Exocraft can. But there's no call thing to bring your ship here. So let's see what's in the area. Precious little. is closer than the trading post, so we'll go back there and then take the ship and cut a little time off the trip. And maybe we'll find some useful stuff on the way back. So how long does it take you to work that crop farm?
Okay, so for that one, I need magnetized ferrite, and for that, I also need magnetized ferrite plus dioxide. Without a mod and needing actually three farms for an item, it took me a good half hour to harvest everything. I had coprite, frost crystal, and gamma root for living, gra li living glass. Okay. And I seem to remember that living glass is a pretty good one to get in bulk. I was hoping for, but I'll take it. How so, Pilicious? It's valuable without being too insane that I learned about activated indium farms and moved to that before they got nerfed. What about runaway mold farms? Which I believe are more complicated than just leaving the produce from your other farms around until they go bad. Having to small pop up ads that don't interrupt the stream with them being from Amazon offering you a $500 robot? That doesn't sound like something that should be on Twitch, Pilicious. You maybe want to 
check your browser and make sure you don't have any suspicious plugins or anything. Oh, this looks useful. settlement that's what I want yes uh, now where was that minor settlement that was <laughs> three hours away by exocraft I think we're gonna continue back home we'll go there but we're gonna go there by ship My chlorine crash the market setup when you really want money. Nice. Oh, have they pilations? I hadn't heard about that. That's honestly seriously disappointing. Not surprising, but disappointing. The great AI nerf? What do you mean by this? Just, or what do you mean, Winters, rather? Sorry. It's reading the wrong name. Another one of these things that's got the freaking eggs. This is not a minor settlement. This is a minor ruin, a minor disaster. But at least it's got a uh, trade terminal. Ah. And okay. It's got the magnetic resonators. Holy crap, thank you. Fine. I won't go for all 26. Let's just do 10. You've got to be joking. Just give me 10 then. Thank you. Holy crap. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. Oh my god. I wonder if maybe the spear would be easier. Ah! Oh jeez.
nobody for you to worry about. Nobody at all. Can I free the operative with the spider? No? Shoot. Bah. Oh my god. Oh, it's enormous. But where have the books gone? All right, guys, you ready? How am I only now realizing that I can have three active characters? What the hell? Nope, too fast. Darn. Okay, I'm back. Now. Multi-tool. Thank you. Alright, so. Let's go back. Um. This way. Thank you, Pi. Thank you, Kellenray. <sighs> we finally did it. All right, where is home? Library barbecue. That's off world. That's Yoda Land off world. Horror off world. I need the on world one. That's probably it. There it is. Just requires going far enough away and waiting long enough for the market to recover. Oh. There we go. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Nomad. 
Uh, right. Hotspot proximity. That's electromagnetic power. So what is it I need to scan for? Oh, of course, it's a gas hotspot. And of course, that's the one that's not nearby. Where's that trade terminal? That's... We'll go in that direction and see if we can find one along the way. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. Okay, so we do have one. About 400 in roughly that direction. last marker uh, the last milestone three winters scanning a gas pocket resource cloud thing Spot analyzed. That's it. Surveyed for subterranean. We don't need to do anything with it. That was literally all. I'm not complaining. Reward Utopia Speeder Starship. Okay, where did I leave? There it is. I need my inventory space. Mining beam upgrade, nice. <laughs> uh, I might have to keep that. I have no space for it. <laughs> I like the end music.
Utopia Dignitary, Utopia Expedition Decal Plans, Utopia Expedition Banner. Okay. And that means... Utopia Speeder. Oh my god, the min... Holy sh... The... <sighs> That maneuverability, damn. Thank you. I uh, I think we're gonna claim it. I think we're gonna claim it. Expedition over. Congratulations, traveler. All expedition goals complete. Your save will now convert to a standard save if you wish to continue. Earned rewards can be collected on any save via the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion on the Space Anomaly. Be sure to check back for the start of new expeditions soon. Okay. Our journeys are not over yet, though. Because you... Bet your ass we're testing this new ship out. Ah, life support. <sighs> okay, let's hop in and save. Okay, I'm excited. What have we got stored in the starship? Lots of things, most of which I don't care too much about. Oh, but I do kind of care about the storage augmentation. So let's take those. The rest, it's not like we're losing it. There she is. No, it's okay, Calendary. I'll leave the upgrades on that one. I can always rebuild them on this one. It's more fun that way. Shuffling components around is really not that fun. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Settle down now. Oh boy. Okay. This this is this is really something. Yeah, it is Mio. I like it a lot. That's honestly the resemblance to the uh, Rebel Snowspeeder is the main reason I wanted to do the expedition and get it completed so I could unlock this thing just for how it looks but holy crap can it fly however uh, let's let's go to the station I want to do some reconfiguration I want to see how just how stupid I can make the maneuverability by cheesing the capabilities. Um, hello station? Oh, there you are. Literally does 360s around the competition. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I forgot. This is not a standard station. But you know what? It's still a place to land. Reject their lies, follow us to freedom. The ship is broadcasting the same message over and over in an endless loop. Its message has decayed over time, but there are still salvageable coordinates amid the noise. 
I shut down my receiver and input the coordinates to my starship's navigation systems. One final check reveals no life signs, no further intelligent message from the abandoned vessel. I like that it's a solar ship. Ooh, whoops. Okay, what is this gun I'm using? Ow. Shame about the hyperdrive? Yeah. But I honestly, once I get a little further on in the main story, I pretty much just start using the frigate for hyperdrive anyway. I rarely do a lot of hyperdrive with the starships. So I don't know that that's going to be a big problem. Okay, so, oh, this, wow, that comes with an awful lot of S-Class adjustments already installed. Oh, Q resonator? In, oh, infra knife accelerator. That's what we're using. Why is that there? That's silly. Don't do that. We want the pulse engine here. We're going to move these here. Okay, so that gave me a small improvement. Oh, I already had that there. Um, oh, you're right. That hyperdrive range is kind of embarrassing, isn't it? 126 is a little nicer, but not that much. So, if we move that there, that's 886.5. Oh, that's... that's better. So, what gives us the best boost? 25... oh, maneuverability. That's the one we really want to shoot upwards, isn't it? So, 14%. 33%. Hang on. What's the raw stat? 7%. 20, uh, 7. 14. 8. Nothing. 11. So 14's the best for maneuverability, so we put that there and that there, and that gives us our 1195.7. It's a shame we don't have a couple of these side by side. Are there more? I'm not seeing. No. That's weird. It's S-Class. Shouldn't there be more than just the two? Or maybe there are two more that I haven't gotten yet. You need to upgrade your freighter's hyperdrive capabilities? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay. Okay, we are going to look at that three star. Oh, shoot. I just realized I don't have an economy scanner. That's probably the one I should have brought over from the other ship. Mm, 
Now, okay, what's going on with the skull icon? Okay, oh, I don't need the economy scanner. I've been to this system before, so it's marked. You will get more with more slots. If you ever want chip upgrade modules, you have a stupid amount of them. Good to know. But I've actually still got the 10 or 12 or however much that I ended up with. Oh, it's a pirate system. Okay. Oh, I love this ship. Incoming transmission, source unknown. You are not alone. Please identify yourself. I'm... Oh, this is the Apollo stuff. Oh, right, you actually kind of have to do at least the start of the Apollo stuff in order to find... What's-his-face? The anomaly, don't you? Um... Oh my god, I didn't realize it scrolled downwards. So there's two continuous ones. So we can make it even more stupidly maneuverable. Oh, nope. Starship. You two have to go there. That's going to work. Thirteen sixteen point nine. And if I can get two hyperdrive upgrades, I should be able to maybe improve things a little bit here too although I don't know what kind of hyper drive upgrades can you even really get Can get hyperdrive. It's the worst that can happen. Well, that's range. So, 132. Actually, 264. That, that's, that's better. If I can get another range extender and stick it there, like a Class S, we might be able to get it okay.
But there we go. We got the snow speeder. Which is doubly nice because I've also got the uh, the vector starship as my bonus start starter ship for pre-ordering the game. And that looks very X-Wing-like, so now I've got two Star Wars ships. There's a mod that increases the amount of upgrade tech you can install. You're just waiting it for it to be updated for Fractal. Yeah, I'm probably not going to mod it for that, though. Purely my own choice. I don't, you know, I don't condemn other people for doing it. I like that they've got the mist around this, too. It makes it, makes it look extra badass. All right, guys. It's after four, and we finally finished the expedition. I can't believe it took all night, but then we had just those awkward things we had to find to get it all done. I think we're going to go find somebody to raid for now. So let me get my list of awesome people up, and we'll see who's on. So let me see here. Ms. A Game is playing a Plague Tale Requiem. Pixie Plays is playing Fire Emblem Engage. Oh, okay. I know where we're going. Ultra's on again. And she's playing Kerbal Space Program. We're going to go visit her and see how day two is going. Thank you, Darkwing. It was great to have you and everybody over here. Oh, um, let me snooze ads because they're coming up on us very quickly here. Uh, all right, we're going to go visit Ultra. I want to see how her Kerbal playthrough is going. So let me get you her link. Thank you, Pilatius. Thank you, everyone, for being here. It means a lot that you decided out of all the places you could have been that this was a good enough place to spend your time and attention. Ultra Saurus, there we go. We're going to raid Ultra, and I'm going to get you her raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the Heart of Mo um, and the Wave of Mo of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emote. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own or maybe from another streamer or from Twitch themselves that you'd like to use, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It will all be good in my book. So we are going to go raid good friend of the channel, Ultrasaurus. We've known her for years. She's a wonderful person, wonderful friend, wonderful supporter of this channel, and uh, she plays a lot of simulation games, and she just got into Kerbal Space Program the other night for the very first time. She is playing the second one, number two. She's never played the original game before, so we're going to go see how she's handling the learning curve. She actually accomplished a lot of amazing stuff her very first time playing it. Like, getting to the Mun was pretty impressive. She managed to do that the first time out. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing where she's gotten with extra practice and knowledge. So I will catch you over there. I will be back tomorrow night. I'm not sure what we're going to be playing. Very good chance we're going back to Subnautica Below Zero, though. But uh, whatever it ends up being, you know, it's going to be a good time. So thank you so much for spending your time here. I really, really could not do this without you folks. So thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. And I will catch you again real soon. Bye for now. Dragon skeletons everywhere. This is definitely getting to get up. Thanks, guys. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Really? Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Yes, don't Avoid say. the impact site and head to shelter if any is available.
Uh, uh, okay. Clearly there were some areas they had...